All right. I, know, I know someone who wears his socks. He buys socks every six months. Wow. Buy socks every six months. So every six months, he'll just and he buys a bunch. Everything, throws them out trash, and gets new them ones. Them. Yeah, yeah. For for good health reasons, you know. And you you have to make sure that whenever again in looking after your socks, you've audited your socks, you've checked the ones that are bad, you know the ones that need to be changed. All right. And therefore, at that point in time, whenever you now wear, you brought out a brand brand new pack of socks. Okay, don't just throw your socks anywhere. I would say. This is the way I have it done in my house. I always say, if you're going to put them in the wash, put the socks like this in the wash. Wow. Okay? Mm -hmm. Because they will always... They'll see, be together. This is black. That is black. They're two different types of socks. And most times, this is secure. Just so when it comes out. So when it so comes out, you put the two together. Then you can always bring them out and dry them. You know, when you're washing them, then you bring them out and dry them together. You know? But even at that, you're not even ready to wash them yet. Put them together at all times in the laundry basket so that they stay together. Otherwise, nine times out of ten, the socks are going to miss. And I don't know how they get missing. They just get missing, <laughs> all right? Your corporate colors are, you should always have at least a pair of black, a pair of navy blue, and gray. Gray. Yep in the wardrobe you at all times. Them, right? You can't go wrong with them at all. But that is why you need to do a wardrobe audit. You might find that you have so many black and some are old and some are new and they're all mixed up. You're wearing socks that you've had for years and years and years. So that's why the wardrobe audit is very, very important. Be selective in your colors. If you do want to have a bit of color in your life, nothing wrong with that. But be selective in the type of colors that you wear. So you see something as bright as this. This is not appropriate for me. You know, because I think this will sabotage your image if you're a corporate guy. Except it's just a young and, boy. Unless it, yeah, unless you're a very young chap. And even at that, some corporate organizations frown at this because this can sabotage the image. Don't forget, a lot of companies are trying to emphasize corporate colors. So if, you, if your corporate color has nothing to do with all these red, or, I mean, orange, purple, pink, just because you think they're on your feet, like I said, when you sit down, we will surely see it, you know? <laughs> we will surely see it. Um, go for quality and dur durability, all right? Good quality. Sometimes you wear socks, and the moment you wear them, you've got holes in them. Throw them out. Talk about cotton and uh, polyester. You know, what's the difference, or which is preferable? I think, I think with socks, they usually come cotton, wool, silk, cashmere, and polyester. polyester yes. so, um, so the polyester ones, they may bring sweat, but it depends on you. If you're one of those that wears socks daily, changes your socks daily, then it's fine. There's no problem with that. But you know, you, I think at some point in time, you begin to understand your own feet. You know what makes you sweat and what doesn't. And you know what makes you more comfortable. Don't forget, socks are for comfort as well. Some people don't like wearing thick socks at all, you know. And some people then tell you, well, I actually prefer to wear the lighter ones because they're smoother to wear, they're more comfortable, I don't feel choked in my feet. Don't forget, some people are, leather is tight. When you wear thick socks, it's going to make your feet even tighter, tighter in the shoe. So um, if you wear something lighter like this, then your feet will actually slip in to the shoes mm -hmm. a lot more easier, okay? Um, I, like I said, don't take socks for granted. They're a very important part of men's dressing, and it will complete the look. Otherwise, imagine wearing a suit. And this, we see it all the time. We see a lot of people wearing suits, going to work, and they're just not wearing socks. Maybe for them, they feel that it's uncomfortable. That's why I said go for the softer fabric shoe socks so that your feet will slip in. If you go for the very thick socks, of course, they will feel quite uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Then you find a lot of men um, once in a while want some air in their feet. So you're sit sitting at your desk and you want to take off your shoes. You've got to be very careful in public how you take your shoes yeah, off. Because, you know, yes. I've, I've seen what dive here? Yes. <laughs> Maybe just just sitting down waiting for your turn and you yeah. feel okay let me just Please remove my there have been cases where you were just wondering oh, oh, what's going on here that aroma is too much <laughs> 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 oh, oh my god, you see, and another thing I wanted to mention is this, look at these shoes, these socks, now they're more sporty, right, so you're not likely going to um, see the person's feet, but what I wanted to emphasize is buy the socks that are your size, so sometimes you see socks that look so small, and because they stretch, you now want to stretch your feet into the sock, 
it's going to be uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. So always look for the size when you're buying your socks because socks always come according to the size. Yeah. I've seen some where they look like baby socks to me, but they say, no, no, they're for men. I say, well, uh, this looks pretty small. But then because naturally if you put your feet inside them, they will stretch. They will stretch. They will stretch. But the ideal thing is to buy well, your size. It can make size. the feet uncomfortable. Yes, it can make the feet uncomfortable. Buy, buy your size and that's, that's for sure, you know. Okay, I, I, we'll, we'll go on a break, I know, um, but you you said a lot about men. I'm interested in women because okay. we also wear socks sometimes. Mm, yes, yeah, but I don't we, unless it's sports. <laughs> yes, yes. So okay. So we'll talk about that a All bit right. um, when we come back. Okay. Okay, the, the, my producer said we'll have that break in, in, in another moment, but uh, let's talk about the women socks. Yes. Well, actually, for women, when it comes to covering their feet, they barely wear socks. They tend to wear tights, all right? Tights or what other people will, will call, you know, um, costery or something like that. And normally, it's usually in a, very, in the, in a climate where it's cold, because you want to cover up your feet or you know and with tights you're either wearing the tights that are full tights all the way or you're wearing tights that are stopping at your knees or you're wearing the ones that are going to fit inside your boots the problem with tights are this they're very they get ladders very easily so you might be putting them on and your fingernail has cut it and you might not even notice but then when they have ladders, they go all the way up. It's something that you must always look out for whenever you're wearing tights as a woman mm -hmm. to make sure that it's one thing that kills a woman's image when you have ladders all the way down up your tights and you haven't noticed it. So you have to be very mindful. Socks are good when you're wearing shoes that will cover the socks like boots or um, ankle shoes or ankle boots or covered shoes but you're hardly going to wear nice office shoes with any form of socks at all. So um, again... For those who sweat on their feet. Is there anything that they so, can also wear? So right now, if you're wearing, so some ladies don't like heels at all, or they wear heels and then they come down to pumps, which are heelless shoes, um, just for comfort. It's when you're wearing the pumps that I would suggest that you can wear to the stop the sweat, support. the sole support. Okay. So underneath your pumps, if indeed you do sweat, you know. And sometimes if you find that you still sweat regardless, add talcum powder underneath your feet before right. you wear the sole support. Okay. Thank you very much, <laughs> Janet. The You're etiquette welcome. of socks. Those of you who love to wear your socks with your traditionals with socks. Uh, <laughs> says, oh, your happy that. socks. I know, yeah, Festus says <laughs> oh, he's yeah, guilty as chat, so he's been running around trying to gather his socks. Oh, socks. <laughs> Guys, please, let's take care of our socks. Thank you so much, Janet. You're welcome. Look forward to seeing you again next Thank week. Thank you. <laughs> so, we'll be back for the home stretch shortly. Don't go away. <laughs>